everyone today i would love to share with you this beautiful stand for hot dishes pattern it's called japanese flower it's really beautiful it's not that hard to make but you have to follow some steps in order to make it from the first time without mistakes because i had to undo several times because i put sometimes in a wrong pattern and i skipped some stitches you have to be precise don't skip the stitches count each stitch it's better and when you attach you must follow so i will explain to you while we will crochet and if you follow everything correctly you will have no problem and it will be very easy project for you so if you will use it as stand for hot you have to use cotton i have used 115 meters 50 gram so the recommended crochet hook size was 3.5 millimeters but I use 2.5 because if you use 3.5 it will not have this nice neat look so use one size smaller and now we are going to start don't worry it will be not that hard you must just uh, follow all the steps and you will have this beautiful really nice stand for hot or use as a decoration for your kitchen or any other room because it just looks like a crochet flower very beautiful you can even make the loop to hang it on the wall since i will use just like this flat i didn't make any loop but i will show you how to make the loop to hang it so for the this tutorial i will skip this green and use pink because i think then it will have even more flower look so let's start okay maybe the green on this light it will be better seen has better we are going to start with the slip knot just make the slip knot as you are used to that's it and now you are going to chain 33 so be sure to chain 33 1 2 3 4 and we meet when I have 33 my chain is ready I have 33 so now you have to find the very first one where you have the slip stitch and insert into your first chain insert the hook and we are going to slip stitch be sure that your chain is not twisted and you have to have all straight then grab your yarn and slip stitch next thing you have to use this one on top of your chain so later you don't have to weave the ends if you want to make your life easier so chain one and into the same stitch you make one single crochet so put this one on top of your chain so you weave it inside sorry and then make one single crochet then uh, keep it on top and insert the hook into the next chain grab and make one single crochet so you must make one single crochet into each stitch all around this ring that we created and it's better for you to save your time for later and weave this thing on top keep on top 
and crochet together because we will have many of these rings and then if you have to weave each one maybe it will be a boring job for you that's why I prefer to weave now to spend some more effort and to keep it on top so continue one single crochet all around and count that you have 33 stitches I'm not counting chain one as a stitch I have finished my row one and now I have to connect and I will slip stitch into the very first stitch and I will start the row two so uh, this one is quite tight be sure that you um, <clears throat> don't worry if uh, after row two it will be a bit curved it, it's fine after row three it will be fine and you will see the difference so now chain two and yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch where you slip stitch and now yarn over pull through two first and pull through two again we are making clusters of double crochet chain one yarn over move to the next stitch go under both loops grab the yarn yarn over pull through two then yarn over insert again into the same stitch again pull through two you have three loops pull through all three like that and chain one and we are going to repeat this thing all around and you must have 33 clusters of double crochet after row two so yarn over move to the next stitch first you pull through two don't finish making one double crochet start the second one into the same stitch pull through two you have three loops pull through all three and then chain one so continue until this very uh, first stitch and be sure to have 33 clusters well I have finished row two now I'm going to uh, chain one and finish with a slip stitch into our very first cluster so I just grab the yarn and pull through the loop on the hook so it's a bit curly that's completely fine after the next row it will become flat we are going to chain three and start the next row which is pretty the same but you have to make front post clusters so you move the hook this way you take your first cluster of double crochet and then you have three loops but you pull through first two and keep the two loops on the hook yarn over you go again like front post stitch uh, grab the yarn and again you pull from first to there are first two as you see just first two and then yarn over pull through all three so you finish your first cluster with front post and then you are going to chain one and repeat the same way you are going to move to the next set of double crochet and as usual you yarn over pull through two you have two loops yarn over 
go again to the same cluster grab the yarn you have four loops first move two and then yarn over pull through all three and like that you must chain one and continue until the end of this row you must have the same 33 elements 33 clusters of double crochet and we meet to start the last row see you later as you can see now after row three we have a flat ring it's very beautiful already and we are going to finish with the row of single crochet so we are going to insert into our first cluster and slip stitch to finish row 3 uh, now you must have 33 clusters and chain one between them so we are going to make 66 single crochet chain one and then into the same stitch uh, where you had the chain one insert and make your first single crochet and then make one single crochet where you had the between the two clusters when you have where you had the chain one space then into the next cluster Then again, where you have chain one space and the next cluster. So the main thing, be sure you have 66 stitches after this row. Go all around and then we slip stitch in our first single crochet. So <clears throat> our first ring is done and now we are going just to slip stitch into very first single crochet and that's it. Uh, as you can see you have to make many of these rings and then we will connect them in a very special way. So. Follow all the instructions and you will have it done in no time. Uh, we are going to cut the yarn and connect starting the second ring. We are going to start with another color and you must chain the same number like the first one. So you are going to chain 33. Just. Uh, Let's meet when you have 33 chains. So you have chain 33 and now uh, you must put it on top like this and uh, we are going to slip stitch in our first stitch. So be sure that it's not twisted, that it's all going smooth, like that. And now find the very first and slip stitch. So you have to slip stitch. And we do all the same like with the first string but they are already connected then chain one and you are going to uh, keep to crochet this one inside so later you don't have to worry about the ends the ends to weave them so now you are making one single crochet all around and you must have 33 single crochet so I have crochet 8 rings, 
Now I have to crochet the last one that will connect the first and the last. Sorry, this is the first, this is the last one. And it must follow the same pattern like one and then the other goes out, goes in. So the last one is trickier, I will show you. Because you have to uh, keep the rings like as they were here, so uh, I just you see, I have to put the pink color between the green and the so basically, I have to do the falling. Put this one on top and then go under the very first one and then it must go on top so like this if you can see and this one must go under so it goes under this one is on top it's a bit inconvenient but it's possible so you have to do something like this just place it and be sure that the chain is not twisted that way uh, you will have no mistakes and then just slip stitch like this and continue to crochet all rows the same way like the others so just slip stitch at this point and then just take and crochet all around that's the only thing you have to do for the last ring and then I will show you how to join all of them together see you when I finish the ninth ring I have finished all nine rings now I already weave all the ends so right now we have to just uh, make one row the last row and then just uh, join the middle the center so I'm going to show you uh, first of all also you have to pay attention that uh, we have the beginning of the rings and it can look a bit less neat so wait let me find for example uh, like I have here the beginning which is uh, a bit not so neat and I can put it behind here or in this place so it will not be vis visible and it will make my project neater and that's the whole idea when you make the last row you have to hide under like I cannot even see where exactly it was like that you will not see after your project is done so try to place and pay attention to keep all the ends in a under the other rings you will not see the beginning after you finish so I'm going to start with the pink one and you can start wherever just you know here I place the beginning under here so I go and I start the last row just grab the yarn, pull the yarn, I chain one and I make one single crochet into the same stitch and then I'm going to make 16, so in total 16. Now I have two, three, four, we meet when I will be 16 single crochet. After I have made 16 single crochet, also here I see that 
I have the beginning here so I place it under other rings like this so and I start the 16 single crochet just by switching from pink to green just immediately no slip stitch no transition just go and instead of pink start to crochet the green one and also 16 and that's the only thing you have to do after you finish the green you pick up the white you check the beginning to cover it and you continue until you arrive to the very last one that we will join and then we will just close the center and our project is done so see you after you join all of them with 16 single crochet i have finished my last row and i already joined the um i already joined all the rings and now we have just to join the center so just finish this row with the ends and your uh, crochet part is done now we are going just to uh, make something here in the center for that you have to take your needle and the yarn not so long because it's just a small hole and then grab any ring and you have to go where they connect with each other the two rings so just open here and then count maybe white is not so visible so let me show on the green so then you have just to count 25 stitches so like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24 and 25 from this movement from down to top from out you just move the needle then you uh, immediately go to the next ring that follows it and that would be here the next is the pink ring you have to count 25 as well so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 and you make the same movement like that and then you move to the next ring this white ring and you count 25 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 Five. and like that you continue all around taking the next ring the next ring and then I will show you after you pick up all the rings at the end you have to have something like that where your two end meet and you pick up all the rings so let's just uh, tie the knot and try to close as much as you can we are going to make several notes not so that won't open so normally I make around three knots 
Um, it's better also at this point when you have just the two left, switch it to the other side. So bring it to the other side so the yarn is not visible. Yeah. And tie the knots here and then just um, you can cut the yarn. You could possibly close it completely by um, you know if you tighten it more but I left a small hole but you can tighten more and the hole completely disappeared or you can keep a small hole that also is like flower because this is a sort of flower so it's up to you and then uh, I will weave these two ends these two pink ends one here one here or one here and here so they are invisible and that's it your beautiful uh, crochet project for your kitchen is perfect you can put something hot if you use cotton yarn and you can use it as a decoration or some you know if you make a big size I saw some people use it for the chair so to put on the chair to make it soft sit and you can make whatever thanks for watching and see you again next time